everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm introducing a brand new style for 2021 by Ellen Villa. This one is called Link. It's in the color Pastel Rose Rooted. If you're considering this style, there's a few things you don't want to miss in this review coming up. Wig Studio One sent this wig for review so that we can try it before you buy it and give you all the information that you are gonna want to know about this, this style. Um, all of the links are listed below the video. If you expand the description box, it'll all be there for you. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, you can reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. So Link is a cute little asymmetrical textured pixie style cut. It has some cute fringe, lots of layers. Let's get up close on this color, this pastel rose rooted. I think this color is extremely beautiful and appropriate for mainstream everyday wear. It starts with a pearl platinum. So it's just a really nice, brilliant platinum to begin with. And then I see two tones of pink or rose. So I see a very light pink rose color and then more of a darker raspberry. Now it's very, very light. There's just whisper of color coming through this. So you really can't sit and say, that looks like a pink wig. It doesn't. It looks like a platinum wig with just a hint of pink. Now the best part about this and what sets it apart from other fashion shades similar to this in the market is the fact that it has a dark blonde root or a light brown. That rooting is done so well. It's ash in tone. It's lighter in tone than most other rooting that you see on colors like this. And the transition is impeccable. You see it just kind of gradually come out instead of an abrupt line. It's very soft and very natural looking. I compare this to the uh, Bubblegum R by Noriko. That's another cute one. It's a, a silvery color with lots of pink, with whispers of pink coming through it, but that root is super dark and it's very stark against uh, that the silver in that color. So I think this is done perf to perfection just really enhances the beauty of any of the styles that I see it applied to. So Link is a heat resistant style. So I really think this is a beautiful length to have in a heat resistant fiber like this. It gives a nice realistic touch without, um, without experiencing excessive friction and things on your collars. It doesn't drag the clothing. So the dimensions, again, this is an asymmetrical kind of a cut. So on that right side, you're going to experience about a five and a half inch fringe, okay? And that comes uh, just below the hollow of my cheek. If you know your measurement from hairline to chin, I'm about six and a half uh, inches there. And then on the left side, right around 1.75 inches coming off of the side there. It gives a really cute asymmetrical look. Now in the back, there's supposed to be a six inch crown. Now I'm not seeing that off of the, the very back here. I imagine they're taking that crown measurement from a little farther up on the crown because that layering there does appear to be about six inches directly on top of the crown. But in the back, there's multiple layers and that tapers down into about a 1.75 inch nape. Now that sounds like a really short nape. Um, but I think it does an amazing job of covering up any natural hairline in the back. The nape stays put. And it kind of sweeps around the ear for good coverage around that ear. So here is the big thing you want to know that's not consistent with the manufacturer's description of this style. There is no lace front as you would expect. So it's not temple to temple. Um, it does not run the whole length of the front. All you have here is a monofilament lace part that runs all the way out to the hairline. There's no seam, and I'll show you a look at the underside of the cap here in a moment. Um, but taking a look, it's, it's impeccably done. It's gorgeous. But it only runs from about here to here. 
So you can really only part it there on that left-hand side if you want to get the illusion of a natural hairline right there. Um, but the lace, monofilament lace looks beautiful all the way back to the crown and it's seamless. So you're not getting a seam between the lace at the front and then the monofilament lace at the back. Okay, now you're probably not gonna wanna style it too far away from the face all throughout the, the front because you're gonna run into a seam. That's where the lace meets the cap, right there. So you just want to be aware of that. And there's on the other side. Okay, so what monofilament lace that's there is very beautiful. It's very well done. The knots are very fine. Of course, that rooting is impeccable. So it does have an outstanding look. I'm not sure why Ellen Villa is kind of getting, I'm not gonna say they're getting away from the full lace fronts, but what you'll see a lot with them are little micro lace fronts um, with little mono crowns oh, or something like this where you're not getting that full lace. So I don't know if it's a, a cost effective measure on uh, the part of Ellen Villa or if that's just what they think is desirable. Now I will say that sometimes those little micro lace fronts don't lay exactly flat. There's not enough lace to really get any kind of traction on your forehead. Now on this one there is. Um, there's enough lace there that it lays flat to the forehead and does look very natural. I can see you really, really enjoying the style if you know what you're getting. And if you like styles like um, Ellen Villa's disc, which is also an asymmetrical. Disc is almost identical to this in terms of uh, specs. However, a disc does not feature a heat resistant fiber and it has a little bit of a different monofilament part to it. Um, but they're very, very similar. So if you like disc, but there's a color in link that you like, I think you would really love this. Um, thinking of another style, um, Perry by Aesthetica. That's a very popular one, kind of an asymmetrical texture cut like this. And Perry has a full lace front and left monofilament part. It's not heat friendly, but it is very similar. So that's kind of along the same vein of styles that um, if you appreciate and enjoy them, I think you will absolutely love Link. So I explained that this fiber is of the heat resistant variety. I think it gives a nice realistic feel and look. Um, it moves very nice, although this one is highly texturized, so you're not getting a lot of movement. Uh, but it is a nice, wispy, feathery type fiber that if the wind does happen to catch it or something, it does move very naturally. And I think the fiber is lined up and layered in a way throughout the sides and back that you're not going to get any lift uh, with a gentle breeze or something that would reveal wefts in the back. There is a very mild amount of permatease. So you'll get a little bit around that monofilament lace, a little bit on the top, a little bit here at the crown. Uh, just, I can't really detect any kind of thick pillowy permatease anywhere on this style. This is a very light density, low permatease style. Here's an inside look at the cap for Ellen Villa's Link. So I wanna bring your attention to this uh, monofilament lace part here. Um, so that looks like the mouth of that is right around one and a half to two inches. It comes right out to the front as if it were a lace front. Uh, technically, it is a lace front because there's lace at the front. You just wanna know that it does not extend beyond that one and a half to two inch parting space. And that lace runs all the way back to the crown. It's very nicely done. There's no seam there. 
And then you have some velvet co covered seams at the front. Um, I feel like the lace should have come out a little bit farther because the edge of that cap is visible from the front. There is a closed velvet covered ear tap, very soft but sturdy and good coverage. Open wefted sides and back, Velcro style adjusters. Now what you need to know about this is that if you are a diehard Ellen Hilla fan, because you have that petite average circumference, this cap ran really large on me. You'll notice I had to crisscross the adjusters just to get a secure fit on this cap. I don't know if that's a, an anomaly, if that's a one-off situation, or if they are increasing the size of their caps overall. Um, that is still a mystery. So I have no way of measuring for a large circumference. Styling for Link. I think you can get some different looks out of this, although you're kind of restricted to that parting space. I'll show you some ways to kind of get around that if you want to do something a little bit different. One thing that I'm not going to demonstrate here, but would be a great way um, to really accent the texture here is just by giving it a squirt of water and just kind of scrunching it in all over. That'll really bring out the texture of it. Um, if you want to use a little bit of a uh, a texturizing spray like a sea salt spray. I think John Renault has one. I think Aesthetica has one. Um, that might also give you a lot of texture and also a little bit of hold. So let's try with glasses. I know this is going to be great with glasses, of course. Uh, there's very light density. It looks fantastic. So I've got some sunglasses here. This works well with any kind of glasses. Very comfortable and secure. Thanks for joining me today for a look at the new Link Style by Ellen Villa for 2021. We will see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.